Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today with a garage band for iOS quick tip that is so quick that I won't even play the theme music. Let's go. So if you've been using the brand new version 2.3 of GarageBand on iPad or iPhone, you may have noticed that there's a change in how we name and rename our files, our projects and our tracks. So I'm just going to take you really quickly through how we actually rename these tracks. So I've got a brand new song here called My Song Number 10 and in the past I was able to tap on there and actually rename directly on the track. I can't do that anymore, it opens up the project. So if I go back to My Songs, what I now need to do is tap and hold and then let go and I get all of these options up the top here, which means I can copy and move and duplicate and do all those fun things, but I can also rename. So I'm gonna hit rename there, and then we get the opportunity to rename this song, which is a song I'm working on called College. And I hit done, and there we go. I've got that there and ready to go. So if you're having trouble naming your projects, that's how we do it. The other question I'm hearing floating around is how to rename the actual individual tracks in your project. So let's jump into this project now and show how to do that. So all I need to do is tap once on there and we get a similar sort of option list here and we have this rename again. It will open up over here and we can rename our Anders into our drums. Hit return and we're good to go. So I hope that really quick tip helps you out if you're having trouble renaming or naming your files, your projects, your tracks here in GarageBand 2.3 and I'll see you in the next tip.